If you have a rotator cuff tear, but you want to try to get better without surgery, are there exercises you can do? I'm Dr. David Geyer, orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine specialist, and I'm here with my friend and physical therapist, Eve Gigi of Made to Move Physical Therapy, and we're going to talk about some things, and he's going to show us some things that you might do if you've got shoulder pain and maybe some weakness as you reach overhead, but you're not ready to get an MRI and maybe go see an orthopedic surgeon to talk surgery. There might be some simple things that you can do to get you back to what you want to do without all that. Yeah, so we've got these patients, and just as you said, they're not really ready for surgery. They may or may not have some shoulder pain, maybe it's a rotator cuff tear, and we wanna start building some strength and range of motion back. So the first thing we do, it's a really simple exercise. It's typically not painful, even if you're in a lot of pain. So we'll do that one first. And you've got a band here that you can purchase almost anywhere, it's usually at the gym. And what we're gonna do first, if you wanna grab it, we'll show yeah. everybody, we're going to bring our arm out and hold it here right next to our body. So our elbow, our wrist, and our shoulder are all kind of in alignment and that band's trying to pull you in but you're gonna fight against that, okay? So we're gonna hold that in that position and you're gonna take two steps increasing the tension on the band, perfect, okay. and then two steps in. Yeah, you actually really have to sort of focus to prevent it from just pulling you this way. Yeah, we love this for the shoulder because the shoulder is really meant to stabilize, right? It's a ball and socket joint. It's really not that stable. So the stronger that rotator cuff is, we really notice that it can really help people get back to the activities that they love. Well, plus, if you actually have a tear and you're trying to just do all these kind of things, you may actually irritate it more. Right, right. Even Repetitive in, motion. In the yeah. long run, that may be helpful. This is probably a much less traumatic way of doing the same thing. Yeah, absolutely. We want as much it, bang for a buck. It's surprisingly, it's surprisingly not difficult, but you feel it. There's yeah. no question. All right, well, very cool. Yeah, so we got a little bit of rotator cuff strength in. The next thing typically we see is like people have a lot of problem reaching overhead. So the next exercise we like to do, and we're gonna use a rig here, but you can use a doorway or anything like that in your home almost any time. So we call this wall walks. You know, or you can kind of creep up like a spider, whatever you want to do. So we're going to come up here. Again, we're just going to pretend this is the doorway and you're just going to creep your fingers all the way up and we're going to go as high as you can. And now, go somebody with a rotator cuff issue, this may be what they can get. Exactly. At first, at least. Yeah, we tell them, like, as soon as you feel a little bit of pain, that's when you're going to stop. Okay. Right? And you want to do anywhere from five to ten reps of that. And hopefully, if as you do this for a couple weeks, or you do this for, you know, a couple days a week, like for multiple weeks, obviously, yeah. then you start to go higher and higher and higher until you get that range of motion back. Yeah. Yeah, I, that absolutely makes sense because th this is the motion people, you know, they, they do fine up to about here, but then that last little bit is where it really gets right, painful. Right, right. So That's when that rotator yeah. cuff needs to work the most. Okay, terrific. Awesome. So our last one is really starting to build some actual strength. So say you did the wall walking for a while, it's starting to feel better, and you really want to build some strength lifting that arm overhead. So we have an exercise we call scaption. So we'll try it first without weight, and then maybe okay. we'll some, add some weight to it. So I I'd recommend starting without weight first. So your arms are gonna be out in front of you. Okay. So I really tell a lot of people, if you're not all the way wide, you're not all the way in the front, you're actually right in the middle, okay. making like a little of a triangle almost. Okay. And we're gonna go down to our hips and we're gonna lift as high as we can and we wanna go about elbow to eye level. We don't wanna go any higher than that because we know we get a lot of strength in that position and there's really not much more that we get if we go higher okay. and we kind of run the risk of, of increasing the pain. We don't want that. Yeah, super, super easy to do and very effective to start building some strength. Another big thing is making sure and uh, Dr. DeGuyer is doing a great job of keeping your thumbs pointed towards the ceiling. So you wanna try with a little bit of weight? What sure. do you think? Yeah, yeah. all right, cool. So we just got some, and you really don't need heavy weights with these exercises. I mean, if you start with one pound or two pound yeah. or some soup cans at home, right? You can use that and it's the same exact motion. Yeah, my, uh, one of my fellowship attendings when I was in St. Louis used to have people do it with rolls of pennies. Yeah, you know? there you go. It's enough weight, right? Those are tiny little muscles. Elbow straight as much oh, as you can. Yeah. There you go, yep. Another like simple cue that we use with a lot of our patients is I want you to think about lifting with your shoulder blades. Oh, Real, yeah, 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 kind of squeezing them as you yeah, go it's up. it's not a deltoid exercise. Yep. It's a... 
And a lot of people will try to, again, Dr. Guy is doing a great job of not shrugging the shoulders, almost putting your shoulder blades in your back pocket as you lift up. Awesome. It's, it's as much focusing on the mechanics of it as the strength part of it, but that's really, yeah, you can absolutely feel it. Um, and so much of your power and stability come from the you know, shoulder blade and the muscles off of it. The rotator cuff comes from the off your shoulder blade. Right, so exactly. It becomes really important. Very well, cool. this is really, really helpful. If you're in your 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, shoulder pain, maybe weakness as you go to reach up into cabinets combing your hair, obviously never a bad idea to see a physical therapist or see an orthopedic surgeon, but it's not always a bad idea to try some of this stuff, see if it gets you better. If, if it doesn't, absolutely go get it checked out. But even if you're not completely healed, a lot of these exercises are going to get you on the path so that surgery goes easier or formal physical therapy goes easier. So this is a lot of good foundational work, if anything else. So give these a try. Let us know how it goes. If you like videos like this, click the link below for many more helpful videos. Check Eve out on social media for all kinds of helpful rehab and injury prevention exercises. And we look forward to seeing you in more of these videos.